Yes, I live a couple of blocks from here. I just realized that I came from work from the train station and I heard that the shooting was going on. It's crazy because I live a couple of blocks from here. Uh, yeah, how do you feel about that shooting? Well, what went through your head when you found out? I feel like, you know, I'm not that secure in, in the neighborhood as I thought I was. Mm. It's scary. Well, it's getting better, but it's still, you know, it is what it is. Um, how often do you notice uh, shootings in uh, Bushwick? You know, like last time I was like one year ago, and uh, it was next to the building I live. Mm. Uh, so I guess it happens once in a year, I mean, I, I hope for this goes away, you know. Unfortunately, I'm hopefully we're now going to go to peace, you know. I noticed you were trying to get to the bodega, and that was uh, sealed off the, the crime scene as well. Yeah. Anything else you like to add, man? Hmm? Anything else you'd like to say? Well, guys, have a peace. No shooting anymore, please. And I'd like to give your name and can you spell My name is Katerina. I'm from Russia originally. Katerina, E K A T R A N A. Just your first name. Name, yeah, my first name. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Спасибо. <laughs> All right, ma'am. You're just coming off the subway here. And uh, what do you notice? I notice that there's a crime scene tape and it says do not cross. When you found out it was a uh, police shooting, mm -hmm. what went through your head? Um, it's just getting more dangerous as time go by. Like it's not safe for anybody, and I see that the environment is more dangerous for the kids as well. How often you notice uh, shootings in uh, Bushwick, right? It's very frequent. Um, I do have the Citizen app, so it pops up basically all the time. Not only shootings, but also other crimes such as robberies, um, sexual assaults, and other crimes. So you mentioned robberies. This was a robbery, and police did fire at the uh, suspect. Don't believe he was hit. I'm sorry, what was the question? I believe it was a robbery. Funny you mentioned robbery. Uh, police shot at the suspect, and don't believe he was uh, shot, though. Yeah, um, sadly, it did have to end up with shooting, but, I mean, if it's a robber, then it should be um, taken as the right situations, shootings. And, uh, anything else you'd like to add, ma'am? Not really. Um, it's, not, it's getting not safe for the kids, and it's being... It's starting to become more and more dangerous. A lot of more people are dying. Um, hopefully, nobody else gets hurt. Would you like to give your name? Um, my name is Jordan. I guess about, is your first name or uh, last name as well? Um, just Jordan. 
Can you spell it? J-O-R-D-A-N. Thank you very much, Jordan. You're welcome. All right, sir, you're driving your vehicle by here. What do you notice at this uh, intersection? Well, you just see the road blocked off because of the police and the crime scene tape. So it's like, I guess this is like a regular occurrence around here. So mm. nothing really surprising. What was the first thing you thought that it might have been? I immediately thought it was a shooter. Immediately. But, you know, of course I asked. But well, you found out it was uh, in regards to the robbery and the, uh, shots fired at the uh, robber. I mean, that's that just happened over in Queens, too. I think in um, Richmond Hill. Uh, the, I guess the cop shot the other cop on accident because they were trying to stop the robbery. So yeah, the sprint, uh, stuff. yeah, at the sprint store. So I mean, it's regular stuff. Like this is not, you know. Yeah. So it feels a common occurrence uh, shooting police officers. Well, well, you know, like I've been here all my life, so I I remember what things were like, you know, 20, 30 years ago. So I wouldn't say, I wouldn't use the word common, but it's not, it's not nothing that is um, shocking. You know what I'm saying? I remember how bad it was before, so it's like, I feel like things have improved, but you know, there's still stuff like this that goes on, so. And uh, do you live in Brooklyn? Yeah, I live in Brooklyn. So, I live down a block from you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you live nearby, and uh, what do you have to say about uh, shootings in uh, this Bushwick, right? Yeah, this is Bushwick. Um, honestly, it. I wish that it didn't happen the way it did. I wish it didn't happen as much as it did, but it's just something that I'm aware of that this is the this is the world that we live in, you know, this is the city that we live in, this is what goes on, so I just, I'm cognizant of it, and I just try to, you know, mind my business, stay out of the way. How often you should I notice shootings in Bushwick? All the time. Well, I wouldn't say Bushwick, I, I don't live in Bushwick, I live in Crown Heights, so, but even in Crown Heights, we just had, like, an 18-year-old kid got killed the other day, so, like, like it's, it's, it's tragic, but it's not, you know, we aren't uh, shocked by it, you know, so. Anything else you like to add, and, uh... Would you like to give your full name and uh, can you spell it? I don't want to give my name. Uh, not even first name? Al. Al? Yeah. Can you spell it? A-L. A-L? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Al. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, 
negative. It's a cell site location. Caller stated they used the fire department and then hung up. When a red hat, blue jacket, and a red pants. Thank <laughs> you. 